So yeah, that's kind of why I've stepped away from just purely review fitness focused videos. It's my first time reading through with the Thorn of Glass series. I don't know what's gonna happen and now they're doing the... Hi everyone, it's me. Welcome to another week in my introverted, balanced, homebody life. <laughs> what are we doing this week? It is Sunday today. We are getting very, very close to the wedding. A lot of wedding stuff is happening. We are also, <laughs> I love how I'm saying we, no. I am also going to get my period at some point this week. So if you guys are new here, you will not know this, but I have been following kind of a cycle sinking-ish approach to my workouts and the exercise that I do lately. So I've almost finished a complete month of cycle sinking now or a complete cycle. So I'll let you know how I feel kind of at the end of it when I've experienced the whole thing but yeah in a couple days i think i'm supposed to be getting my period so we are really ramping down in our energy and i definitely feel that i don't really feel motivated to do anything high intensity high impact and whenever i feel this way i go to pilates and yoga so that's probably a lot of what i'm going to be doing this week definitely what i'm going to be doing for my morning workout today and yeah this is just another weekly vlog i don't think we're going to be trying anything too different. We're also gonna meal prep today because I always meal prep on Sundays. I don't know, today's kind of like a chores day. Okay, I'm gonna choose a Kaylee Daniels, either a Pilates or yoga workout today. We will see what I find. <laughs> So that workout was a lot harder <laughs> than I expected it to be. Oh, it's very dark in here. Let's open the blinds. There we go. Yeah, um, that workout was definitely not low intensity. <laughs> you can see my like red butt reflection <laughs> in the fridge. That's distracting me. There we go. That workout was low impact for sure, but not low intensity, which is actually fine. I feel like I should be moving my body a little bit more intensely in the days leading up to my period because then when my period comes, I'm really gonna take it easy. So yeah, I actually really enjoyed today's workout. If you are looking for a good yoga flow that is meditative, but also so what like kicks your butt <laughs> and you have like little hand weights that you want to use or like to use then today's workout was like the perfect workout for that. I am going to make some breakfast now. I have promised fiance that I would make him pancakes for a very long time now <laughs> and I haven't because I've just been in a very savory mood these past few days in the mornings but today I'm gonna give him his pancakes. <laughs> Oh no, you moved. You were so cute. You're still cute, but you were in a very cute position, baby. Okay, Sage, here's your breakfast. <laughs> it's not in focus. <laughs> wow, that actually looks so yummy. Pancakes are good, but I feel like you need to have them with breakfast sausage. That's just the savory girl in me. You are such a savory girl. I know. Look at fiancés. Please explain what this is. Well, it's just cut up for convenience. <laughs> so I don't have to cut it every time I take a bite. I just cut it all in the beginning. What do you think? I'm a cut-as-you-go kind of a girl. I don't know, it's like the act of eating. It's like the activity. I'm all about efficiency. It may not look pretty, but it sure as heck tastes good. I'm putting this cinnamon swirl peanut butter that I love. And syrup, of course. While I was making these, I had the song Sunday from Tick Tick Boom, like that version, stuck in my head. And I was just like singing it. And I wish I could like use that song in this vlog. I'd probably get copyrighted for that. So unfortunately I can't, but just imagine the Sunday song from Tick Tick Boom. You could do a cover of it. <laughs> Sunday <laughs> in the blue, silver chromium diner. Cheers. That's cinnamon, real peanut butter. Mm. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world. It's so good. 
I just meal prepped. I've been really loving doing these sheet pan recipes because they are very simple. You just prep everything, throw them in a sheet pan, put them in the oven, and they cook themselves. I use recipes from Half Baked Harvest like always because I love her recipes, but this is her hot honey chicken recipe. I just like roasted some broccoli with it and made some rice. Actually, I wanna try some of this. Also, don't mind the outfit. <laughs> Very stylish right now with the nice clashing pink and red. It's laundry day, my clothes are being washed, okay? I'm gonna try a piece of this chicken. The hot honey sauce smells so good. There's also like butter in it, so it smells like buttery too. <laughs> Whoa! That is so good. It's like spicy, it's buttery, but it's also got that sweetness. I have like a hot honey obsession. Make this now. Half baked harvest hot honey chicken. I am going for a little walk, enjoying some outdoors. So I finished doing my meal prep. I cleaned up the kitchen and I put a load of laundry into the dryer. So that's just going. So I'm like, there's nothing more for me to do at home. And it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day today. It's very hot, but yeah, I decided to come out and enjoy the nature. I'm gonna go to a park and I'm going to read my book. Yay. <laughs> I am just on my lunch break now and I wanted to talk to you guys because <laughs> I got a comment on one of my previous videos asking why I don't like give more full in-depth reviews on the workouts I do anymore. I know that's kind of what my channel <laughs> was built upon, like literally reviewing workouts, reviewing fitness programs, challenges, apps, etc. And I'm still gonna do that to a certain extent, like that is still a big part of my life and I'm gonna include those types of videos in the future moving forward, but I also feel like I want to branch out into more lifestyle content. <laughs> As you guys can probably tell, I've been enjoying just doing more chill weekly vlogs showing you more parts of my life, like the rest of my lifestyle, like my reading and stuff like that. So I've kind of moved away from just doing like purely fitness related videos. And I know my videos haven't been getting as many views as they used to. I feel like, I mean, definitely because I've kind of changed the style of my video, but I've been really enjoying making this kind of content. And I want to be on YouTube for a long time. And I feel like to be on YouTube for a long time, I kind of have to shift to continue doing things that I want to do or else I'm just gonna feel burnt out and I was starting to feel that way like with trying new workout programs every week every month every day it was just like very draining and I also felt like I couldn't do what I wanted to do I would try a week of Chloe Tang and by the second day or the third day I'd be like I don't want to do Chloe Tang anymore and it would kind of take a toll on my mental health my physical health and you know Sometimes I just want to do the workouts I want to do. So yeah, that's kind of why I've stepped away from just purely review fitness focused videos. But that being said, my lifestyle is very active. Like working out is still a big part of my life. Eating balanced, being healthy, that is still a big priority of mine. So that is going to be in my videos, <laughs> but I'm just not going to review a new program every week. 
anymore. It was just so much and I did it for so many years and I don't know how I kept up with it, but yeah, it was just very, very draining and tiring and now I just want to do the workouts that feel good and that I want to do. Anyways, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. So those of you that are still watching my videos, I know there's like a few thousand of you who still tune in and just like hang out and see what's going on in my life. I really, really appreciate you. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for sticking around. And yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna find where our channel fits in this online universe. <laughs> also, that being said though, after the wedding, I do have some fitness related stuff coming up in terms of ideas. There is a, another YouTuber who reached out to me. She makes content, like she's also a content creator. Probably a lot of you guys know her, but she is also a personal trainer and wanted to kind of collaborate with me and personal train me for a month, which I am really excited about and I'm definitely going to do. But when she contacted me, I was like, I'm so busy. My wedding coming up I'm gonna be away for like most of September so now is just not a good time to start this but after the wedding we are going to figure that out and so I will be working with a personal trainer and that will definitely make it into my videos so if you are here just for the fitness content there is still stuff coming for you <laughs> but yeah I just want to like chill live my life share things with you guys and I hope that's okay for now that's it I'm gonna go back to work. <laughs> Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. I decided to take a rest day today. Wow, my hair is so like poofy. <laughs> yeah, I woke up. I felt like pretty crampy. My period hasn't officially begun, but it's gonna start like today or tomorrow. And I just woke up with major cramps this morning, so I didn't feel like moving. But I just wanted to let you guys know how my read through of this is going. It's my first time reading through the Thorn of Glass series. Currently on Kingdom of Ash, which is the finale of this gigantic eight book series. And last night here, this is how far I am so I'm like getting close to the end you know when things in SJM books start going nuts and last night mm -hmm, without spoiling anything or giving anything away I got to the part where there's the tower and the light mm -hmm, you know what I mean and I sobbed I did not see that coming I am so sad, but also like, mm -hmm. I guess that was bound to happen, like it was in the fates, but yeah, that hit me really hard. <laughs> I don't even know if that description of what part in the book I got to makes sense, but I just don't want to say any spoilers, because I know a lot of you also want to read through this series, so yeah, I don't want to give anything away obviously but those of you who have read this series have told me that this book kingdom of ash will absolutely break me and i feel like i'm already broken but i also feel like with this much left to go there is a lot more breaking still to be done mm. and i'm scared ah, i'm scared i don't know what's gonna happen and now they're doing the They're like in the middle of doing that part. I'm sorry, I'm being so cryptic, but I just, I'm not a spoiler kind of girl, so I don't want to give away spoilers. <sighs> and I'm stressed, and I have to get through a full work day today just thinking about this stuff and not being able to read. <clears throat> it's gonna be painful. I'm gonna go down and have some breakfast, start the work day, and just think about this series all day. <laughs> <laughs> What's your plan? Ah. You want tapatio? Is that what you want? I'm in my tapatio. Hey, excuse you! Yeah, I'm in my tapatio face. It's such a good hot sauce. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Mmm. Also, I have cinnamon raisin toast this morning. I haven't had this probably in like years. Mmm. Cinnamon raisin bagels are like 2000s. They're like childhood. It's the taste of the 2000s. <laughs> is cinnamon raisin like bread out of style? Could be. Mmm, but it was so good. The thing about not working out today <laughs> is that means I have a lot more time this morning than normal. So I have spare time for reading. It is 8.45, so I have 15 minutes before I have to start work. And that is plenty of time to get through a couple of chapters. <laughs> I'm so obsessed, you guys. I need to 
know what happens but I'm also gonna be so sad when this book is done because that means saying goodbye to these characters that I have grown to love and adore it's so bittersweet but mm, reading <laughs> Give me a paw, baby. Paw? Thank you, baby. There you go. Okay, I'm back from lunch, about to get back to work, but I just read page 100 in Kingdom of Ash. <laughs> I'm freaking out, you guys. Oh my gosh. First of all, what just happened? Second of all, page 100 in Kingdom of Ash. Again, without giving away too much. <laughs> If you've read any of Sarah J Mass, like if you read Akatar, Crescent City, I haven't read Crescent City yet, but there is um, something that happens that's a hint at a crossover. No, not even a hint, like an actual crossover between the series. That's all I'm gonna say. My mind is blown, I'm freaking out, okay? And now I have to get back to work. How am I gonna do this? <laughs> Good morning. It is so dark out today. I feel like it looks kind of bright in the camera their sage but it's actually yeah a very dark day today again my energy level is not very high probably because period week you know so i think i'm just gonna do a stretch today i did a full rest day yesterday like i did not move my body at all but yeah today i feel like I should stretch, just get my joints <laughs> moving a little bit. I finished Kingdom of Ash yesterday. I finished reading that and can confirm mm, the book broke me a couple different times. I'm pretty happy with how the series ended. Hi Sage, oh my gosh. Can you get your butt out of the camera please baby? Please baby, don't step on my phone. Oh baby. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the series ended and I feel like if I had nothing to look forward to to read after that series I would have the biggest book hangover right now and I do a little bit if you guys don't know what a book hangover is I recently learned this term But it's basically when you finish like a really good book or something you're really into or a series and then after you're like what do I even do now? What do I even read? I don't even want to read anything else unless it's about these people. <laughs> I had a serious book hangover after I read Fourth Wing, but yeah, I definitely would right now if I didn't have Crescent City ready for me. <laughs> so if you didn't know, this is another Sarah J Mass book so it's from the same author this is her like newest series i guess you could say there are two books out so far and there's a third book coming out in this series in january so there is more to be read also look at the size of this book like first of all much bigger than my head like it's tall second of all She's also thick. <laughs> I think she is 800 pages, so, so short compared to Kingdom of Ash, right? <laughs> I feel like most of this vlog has just been like me reading, but that's basically what I do on period week. So what were we gonna do? We were gonna stretch, let's do it. Space on either side Of every single word I write I found you in another line all the time it takes to just be to really see breakfast <laughs> i was trying to fit this all onto one plate but i underestimated the amount of food and overestimated the size of the plate so two plates this morning it looks like more of a feast this way and is more fun anyways fiance is not here today he had to go into the office he actually had to wake up at 4 30 a.m today so i had to set my alarm for 4 30 a.m because in our household i'm the one who sets the alarm so i also like half woke up at 4 30 and like didn't really fall back asleep fully after that so i've kind of been up since 4 30 this morning but like half you know <laughs> since fiance is not here i'm gonna watch some youtube while i eat breakfast is that a bad habit i don't know
Good morning, my friends. It is actually Friday. <laughs> it's been a couple of days since we last spoke, but I just wasn't in the mood <laughs> to film Wednesday and Thursday. Was it both days I took off? No, it was just one day I took off. It was just yesterday. I did do some more workout, like movement the past two days. Yesterday morning, I did a Kaylee Daniels, some sort of like a sculpt and flow sort of thing. It was 30 minutes long. And this morning I did a 35 minute vinyasa yoga fusion or no vinyasa pilates fusion <laughs> getting all my words mixed up so i did do i guess there were more like moderate intensity workouts the past two days and i just didn't feel like filming because it's one thing working out and moving your body when you are feeling bloated and like not motivated and it's a whole other thing to also film it <laughs> so i just feel like if i had to film the past two mornings of workouts it would have just made me a lot more stressed about doing it where I felt fine just doing the workouts for myself. I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like I just, I should probably be over it at this point, but I do still feel self-conscious about being bloated on camera. Like I'm fine with it myself, you know, I've accepted my body, I have accepted my cycle. I know that being bloated during that time of the month is just like a natural thing that happens, but there are still mean people out there on the internet. And I have gotten negative comments about my body on the internet and I feel like that just still gets in my head, probably more than it should. Like strangers on the internet commenting, on my body and if my body looks bigger at certain times of the month shouldn't really affect me as much as it does but it still does we're all still a work in progress so yeah i just decided to not film my workouts for the past two mornings but i have been doing them and i will link the videos i did as usual in the description box below even though i didn't show them on camera so you guys can also do those workouts and try them if you feel like it i did really like the workouts from the past two days especially this morning i really liked the one this morning that's just kind of what's going through my head people on the internet can be mean and sometimes i just don't need that energy and i don't need to open up myself to that kind of vulnerability anyways it's been rainy for like the past three days in a row so we're gonna have some cozy cozy ramen for breakfast <laughs> Cookie. What do you need, Cookie? She needs a dumpling. <laughs> yeah, I bet she does want a dumpling. Cookie loves Asian food. Do you guys know that Sage is actually Cookie or Cookie? Oh, Cookie! She's a girl of many names, as all cats should be. <laughs> <laughs> as the best of cats are. The best of cats have like at least seven names. <laughs> Cookie loves Asian food. Her tofu. favorite is tofu, yeah. We didn't feed her tofu. She stole the tofu. <laughs> My sister's cat named Gigi apparently loves tofu too. So I don't know. Maybe it's a cat thing. Maybe cats like tofu. <laughs> Okay, I am just starting up my computer, gonna get to work, so I'm gonna end today's video here. I hope you liked spending the week with me. I definitely did so much reading this week. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, let me know what you had for breakfast this morning. <laughs> if you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!